just going to come straight out and say it. It's what we're about to talk about. A man in Mexico, the mayor of this little town, yeah. has married a crocodile bride in what they're calling a colourful ceremony. Well, it's meant to bring good fortune to his people, yes. and that's why he's done it. It wasn't just because he was in love with said crocodile, mm. who they're calling Little Princess, by the way. Yeah, there's all kinds of details in this story that make it even weirder. Mm. Little Princess, the crocodile, mm -hmm. was dressed up in a wedding dress. She was. Wearing like a white gown, mm -hmm. everything. I mean, she had like bits of rope around her snout. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's snappy. Yes. Uh, Which we all get on our wedding day yeah. after a big day, let's yeah, yeah. be honest. Because there's a lot that goes into it. Yeah. Especially on that side of it, the female side of it. Mm. You know, they've done, you know, let's be honest, most of the planning. All of the planning. All of the stress. Yeah. Sometimes we like to bite people's heads off. Yeah. Look, it, it's said to bring good fortune to the people of this little Mexican town. Yep. Little Princess is thought to be a deity representing Mother Earth. And so yep. it's, it's the union of the mayor representing this city. Mm-hmm. And Mother Earth. So it's it's their yep. commitment to looking after the land mm -hmm. uh, and that kind of thing. It I, joins humans with the divine, mate, is what they're saying. Yeah. It's just all a bit weird for me, mate. Desperate times, I guess, call for desperate measures. But it's good to see this, you know, their commitment to the earth and, and, and looking after the town. Sees this man marrying a crocodile. Who are we to judge? Well, I mean, I'm here to judge. You know, they could just get like a red, yellow and green bin system and that would just show the same thing. You don't have to bloody marry a crocodile. All right? It's a bit weird.